are you going to join us? Or would you rather just shush and close the door behind you? So you do not feel any remorse for anything that you are doing, Fred? For everything that's happening, you don't feel any remorse? You had to bring in another woman into my house! My bedroom and my matrimonial bed! This worthless thing! This fat pig! You brought into my own home! Fred! <laughs> Okay, so yes, I know this is our matrimonial bed, and I brought a woman into it. So what? What are you going to do about it? What? Tell me. Say, hey, hey, Sissy, don't just stress me. You know what you're going to do for me? Just do us a favor and then go to the kitchen, prepare something really nice for us because mm -hmm. after this we are going to be tired and we need something to eat. Exactly. <laughs> So go make yourself useful in the kitchen, all right? Just get out of here! No! all over again. Anita, or whatever they call you. <laughs> I am not going to take any more insults from a filthy thing like you. <laughs> Though this man here may have broken our marital vows and brought you a rag into my home. But I will not take any more insults from you. And I will not condescend myself to play in the mud with a pig like you. See, I will advise you to respect yourself. Respect yourself! How dare you! Talk to my guest in that manner. <laughs> this thing is your guest, but she's not mine, so serve her. <laughs> I thought you said you had her all under control. I don't think you really do. Actually, I, I do. I, I understand why she's reacting in that manner. You know, the whole thing is new to her. She, so she's in shock. You know, seeing me bring someone else into our matrimonial bed is... It's shocking, so I understand. But trust me, trust me, I'll put her in a place. So, when are we taking this to the next level? Taking what to what level? Us! This relationship. When are you getting married to me? <laughs> What's funny? What's so funny? Wait. Wait, you, I never knew you were this funny. I mean, you should have delved into comedy a bit. Wait, wait, so, so if anybody had told you that I, Fred, isn't I will get married to you, you would believe. What's that supposed to mean, Fred? Wait, 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 see. Let's not even be around the bush. Straight to the point. I can never get married to someone like you. I can never marry you. There's no need to be around the bush or say anything. But and besides, I have my wife already. If you have your wife, and you are fine with her, then why do you treat her the way you do? See, how I treat my wife is none of your business. How I choose to run my family is my business and none of yours. Know your place. So what are we doing here? Really, tell me, what are we doing here? What am I doing in your life? You're my side chick. We have fun. I have fun with you, you have fun with me. I give you some cash. I take care of you. I, 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 I do things for you. And if you are not fine with that, that's the door.
I don't understand you, Fred. I, I, I don't get you. So I've been sneaking around here doing nothing. Like, I thought that you were going to get married to me. And you thought very, very, very wrong. What are you even thought in that manner? What are you kind of thought is that? I, I cannot get married to someone like you. A man like me cannot try it. Men like me are alpha males. We like to be in charge. Marry a woman that is naive, that can listen, that will listen to us and will be in control of, will tell what to do and she does it. But you on the other hand are not kind of woman. You are like a ticking time bomb. And I don't want you to explode in my face. So is that what you're saying to me, Fred? See, see. Stop this drama. Right now. I cannot get married to you. I am married to my wife. I am okay with her. I am in love with her. I am okay. Very, very fine. If this arrangement is not okay by you, that is the door. Use it. I need to eat. <laughs> <laughs>